Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It's a very interesting Friday today on FIFA 22 as we have a brand new promo never seen before that is leaked to be coming out again today. We have more leaks, more information to talk about with the Silver Stars series promo. You're like, Nate, it's silver cards. Why am I hyped for those? Well, I'm keeping a level of optimism because it sounds like there's some pretty big names that might be released as silver items. Yes, the stats may not be as good, but it seems like it might be pushing us towards getting these silver cards so that we can play with silver teams in the weekend league and get some extra rewards. So we'll talk about that. And if this promo is actually going to be hype, is EA going to add their own twist to it? Could they be releasing some old special cards back into packs? There's no leaks about that, but I'm just thinking, how could EA spice up this promo? Because they know that what they're releasing is not going to be super hype for everybody. It's just kind of more of a cool concept. So that's what we're going to look at today. Also, Road to the Final is ending, and we have some cards that are you know, eligible, and they have achieved that first upgrade status. Guys like Jamie Vardy, and Ansu Fati, both of those respective clubs and many other players are due their first road to the final upgrade um, after this first week of games. Hopefully, and maybe we will see those upgrades happen as early as today, maybe late tonight, Friday, early into tomorrow on Saturday. We'll talk about that in this video as well and how the market is going to react to this Silver Star Series promo if it does not become a hit or if it is not received very well by the people of FIFA uh, Ultimate Team today. So if you're enjoying the content, make sure to hit thumbs up. And of course, if you're new, new around here, hit the subscribe button. Now, this promo is brand new and it's very confusing. We have some more leaks to talk about. And this really kind of puts it into perspective what this Silver Stars series promo is going to look like. So this is the leak here from Foot Sheriff. He says, it's a confusing concept, but... We are going to see two to three Silver Stars cards added every single day via objectives and SBCs. Every single day is going to have a theme. Now, today on Friday is expected to be Brazilvers, right? Some of the most favorite silver cards from FIFA's of old is the Brazilian silver cards. And it looks like we are getting Brazilvers today. Now, those three players that we're supposed to be getting today are Thais Magno, Renier, and Joelinton, right? We've looked at some of the leaks for these other cards. The uh, This new guy from the MLS is a five-star stealer, so a Brazilian five-star stealer. This is evidently one of the cards that's going to be released today. Now, a lot of you guys might be looking at this and you're like, Nate, like, come on, man. Are they really just going to release a promo of silver cards and objectives and SBCs? Yes, that honestly sounds like what it is going to be. I know that seems underwhelming. It doesn't sound very hype. It doesn't sound like, oh my goodness, these cards are going to be something that I want to go out and try and get what's the reason to go and get them well there are adding some very interesting stuff to this and again this just is more of like a cool type of factor for a promo i'm maintaining a level of optimism because this is just different and i'm excited to see how ea go out and do this but i also think they know that too they know that like man we just released a road to the final team that had cards that were 92 rated cards that had like hullet gang stats all of these items are crazy right really good cards and they upgrade they're live ea know that what they're releasing with these silver cards is not that incredibly hype for some people on the game most people on the game so what are other things they could do today to really spice it up i'll talk about that here in a second but one thing they are going to do in this promo to spice it up is they're releasing some flashbacks to like silver cards which is pretty cool in all honesty paul pogba is getting a card marco royce is getting a card right uh, the Kevin De Bruyne, these are leaked stats for a KDB silver. I mean, you look at for him from a silver card perspective, that's the most cracked out silver card I've ever seen for a midfielder, right? That's a pretty crazy card and it's cool, right? It is cool. You can really build out your silver squads, it sounds like, through this promo. And EA is giving you an incentive to play with these silver cards as we scroll down here and look through a few more of the leaks. If you guys remember this from last year, we saw this last year in FIBA 21 multiple times. They gave us extra foot champions player picks for playing in the weekend league with certain requirements, right? It's back is what the league is. Win a certain amount of games with a full silver squad on weekend league to earn extra picks for the current team of the week. Now, I don't think this is something that it's going to be for this weekend because right now, if this promo is all about silvers, we don't have any brand new silvers or people might be like, man, what am I going to use in my team to do this? I really think what EA is going to do is 
they're going to release a bunch of silver cards over this next week. As you can see here, right, Friday today, Brasilvers. We have Saturday Speedsters featuring the, that Elanga card from Manchester United, right? You have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. It sounds like they're just going to release a bunch of silvers over this next week or half of the week. And then that's going to set us up for next weekend's weekend league where we will maybe have the opportunity if we want. It's not a requirement, right? It's not like you have to play all your weekend league games with silvers. If you want, you can go out and play your weekend league games with silvers to get extra rewards. So again, again, I, I know a lot of you guys are seeing this. And you're like, Nate. This really does not look that cool to me. It's just it just looks pretty average. Um, I understand that I really do, but I think this is gonna be cool on some level for some people, and it's brand new also. So I'm curious to see what EA do with this. Again, we talked about it earlier in yesterday's live stream. We talked about how the last few weeks, like the last month and a half on this game, with the promos that we've seen, we've had Team of the Year. Team of the Year warm-up series, right? We have had uh, the Champions League Road to the Final last week. Two really great weeks of future stars with really good content released during that promo as well. You know, a lot of times EA has these weeks where they run a lot of content and then for a week or two after that, they kind of pull back and they don't release a ton of content to, the, you know, get people maybe down on the game a little bit so that when the next promo comes out, it just seems that much better when they come back with good content. So... I really think that's what they're doing potentially with this promo this weekend um, with the, all these silver cards being kind of the focus. And it does kind of pull you back to like earlier on FIFA roots, right? A lot of people used to play with silvers back in FIFA 13, FIFA 14, FIFA 15 because they felt good in the game. So that makes me interested to see how good these cards are going to feel. And as long as the SBCs are cheap and the objectives are not hard to complete, then I don't think there's going to be that big of a problem. And the people that want to grind this stuff are going to be able to grind this stuff. Now, for other people that are like, man, this just is going to be an L week on FIFA. It's going to suck. I don't think EA is going to leave us in the dust. I don't think this is going to be our only content. Of course, we have icon moments that are leaked to be coming out along with the silver cards, which by the way, this is the card design I think we're going to see for the at least some of the Silver Stars series items uh, released throughout this week and, and this weekend on the game. Uh, we have icon moments that are out there. And then one thing, this is just in my head. This, there's really no leaks about this at all. And I'm not saying that I expect this to happen, but we have had a couple times in the past where on a down week like this, EA knows that a lot of people aren't going to be hyped with the content. So one thing they can do that honestly would seem very easy for them to do, and you would think that'd be easy, would be for them to re-release out of pack special cards from previous promos back into packs kind of like how we had like a best of team of the week uh and in years past they've done stuff like this in a, a little promotion called foot player days right and uh, notoriously foot player days is known for crashing the market now in my opinion i don't think they're going to do that but that would be something where if ea know them releasing all these silver cards is not going to be that hype they know they have to release something else that would keep people occupied whether it's a gamble sbc when they released the foot series promo which was kind of like our basically our quietest week on FIFA yet this year. This was right before Black Friday, earlier in the fall. Uh, they still released like a Foot Hero upgrade SBC. We still had like icon upgrade SBCs that were coming out during that time frame. I don't think they're going to leave us hanging during the silver promo, right? I would imagine that they would still continue with icon SBCs. I think they would continue with a lot of, you know, maybe it's... Um, Maybe it's a showdown SBC or two, you know, maybe it's just some sort of flashback regular player or a player moments SBC. I still think that they would continue with some of the content like this, even a mid icon player pick. Some of that sort of content I think they would continue with on this game um, because they know that not everybody's going to be interested in that silver content uh, because it's just not meta, right? That's the word. It's just not that meta. So, that's one thing that I would say is that I don't think content this week is going to be the biggest L ever. And we're not going to get anything other than just silver cards. And I don't really envision EA putting old promo cards back into packs. Now, if they were going to do that, I think we would have some leaks today. And I think people would figure out uh, that that is going to be the case. Now, of course, the the uh, everybody remembers that loading screen, right? The Foot Player Days loading screen has notoriously been you know, dropped like right before, like an hour before content, you know, I guess that could be something that we watch out for today. I wouldn't expect it at all. Um, and then preview packs as well. Just again, the new variable to this year in FIFA 22, 
Um, it doesn't sound like any of these silver cards are going to be in packs, but interestingly enough, they added a new pack to the code. It's a triple 71 to 74 players pack uh, that was added to the code. Now, this might just be an upgrade pack that is like, or not, not even an upgrade pack. It might just be something uh, that enables you to get higher rated silvers or I, I don't know. Uh, again, you can see here, a couple of these guys are asking, does that mean that Silver Star Specials are in packs and they don't know, right? Again, since this promo has the word series in it, uh, and he said that it is the Silver Star series promo, that makes me think back to this one of Squad Foundation series. There was nothing in packs during that time. So I don't imagine there will be anything in packs. Again, unless, like I said, EA Sports wants to do something crazy and, you know, try to satisfy people that are wanting something meta as a part of the promo today as well. We did look at the card design right there, of course. And then, you know, this is kind of cool. Like this, this De Bruyne, the stats on this card are pretty dope. These are confirmed. That's going to be one of the best silver cards that you've seen, right? That, again, is really dope as a part of this promo. It's just, again it's different, right? And that's going to be the main thing today. And that's why I think if we talk about the market a little bit as well, road to the final ending. Now you, you see a lot of people, especially if EA do not drop a lot of content today on Friday, and it's seen as very, a very quiet day of content. And I'm kind of envisioning that myself. I've actually gone out and I've invested in a lot of cards. I've invested in a lot of these road to the final items uh, because they've already started to go up in price too which is nice. And I think a lot of people are doing this as well. These are live cards that are going to upgrade pretty soon um, that, you know, didn't have the, the highest pack weight during this last week. And they're, th these are the, the newest promo cards that are in FIFA right now. And people are excited about them because Champions League, Europa League, and the Conference League are all going on right now. And there's just a lot to talk about in terms of these cards, upgrades, and that's what's hype in this game right now so that's why i went out and i bought some of these cards and i think a lot of other people did the same just because it's it's just what's hype right now right and if we really do not have good content today on friday for most people on this game's uh, opinion i think a lot of these cards are going to continue to go up more out of packs so that's one thing you could look at today if you have not bought any of these yet i do think that these could rise up more a guy like alex tellis is 230 he was down to 215 yesterday during marquee matchups. We talked about that in last night's video. But you know, some cards that are even supposed to get upgraded this weekend, like Jamie Vardy. Jamie Vardy is still like near his lowest price uh, that he's been while this card has been out and he is getting an upgrade, right? Jamie Vardy's 97,000 coins right now at the moment, 96K. And this card's going to a 91 rated item because Leicester won their conference league game, their first knockout conference league game so the question is when is ea going to upgrade these cards and if it is as soon as tonight or tomorrow then that's going to bring some more hype to these cards and potentially make them go up a little bit more in price now the cards that are getting the guaranteed upgrades i want to show you this graphic uh, and i'll leave a link to, uh, down below to it in the description the main man sahil put this together these are the cards that are getting upgraded it's only plus ones for all these cards because the Europa League, Europa League and the Conference League are both in the playoffs heading into uh, the round of 16. So none of these cards, I know a lot of you guys are like, man, shouldn't Kamara get a plus two or shouldn't Ilicic or Jamie Vardy get a plus two? Technically, they have not, uh, since the Europa League and the Conference League have this like playoff to get into the round uh, of, of 16, it's not the quarterfinals yet. So they haven't qualified for the quarterfinals. Uh, that'll be after these next two games that they play. So it's only going to be plus one upgrades for the teams that won this past week. And you can include Kai Havertz in here as well as the only UCL card that's going to get an upgrade for their win earlier last week since all the other games were draws, right? We could have had a Quadrado upgrade, but they drew. Uh, we could have had a Man U upgrade or a Urente upgrade, but they drew as well. Uh, so that's kind of all of the upgrades that you would have potentially seen this week. So Havertz and then all of these cards, hopefully tonight or tomorrow could be getting their upgrades. But I envision these cards and the rest of the market. If the content today is again, very quiet, if there's cards that are low in price heading into the 6 p.m. timeframe, we see the content is not good. There's gonna be ample opportunities to go back out on the market and buy some of these cards um, and watch them rise higher in price as people just go out and play weekend league as of normal. Now, a lot of these cards have already gone up, right? Rudiger 700K, Holland's 445. I sold three of those today around 440. A lot of these cards have gone up in price because people already know and people already see this content and they're like, man, 
this whole silver thing doesn't seem very hype. So they're going out and they're buying cars. Again, the only thing that would make something crazy happen with the market today, in my opinion, is if EA pulls something out that is just absolutely crazy and it's absolutely wild in terms of content, in terms of an SBC or something like that. Now, also with this, it's the question, do we get lightning rounds? I don't think that icon moments are today and I, I can't find the tweet. Uh, Foot Sheriff, our resident leaker on Twitter, um, was talking about icon moments being on Sunday. Uh, again, yeah, I'll show you this tweet right here. I did find it. Um, he says, Prime Icon Moments will most likely arrive on Sunday. For sure this weekend, I got told he's betting on Sunday. So it could be today, could be tomorrow, could be Sunday. Um, I think it would maybe help the hype for a new promo, a really new promo if they did it today on Friday. But if there's not really any cards in packs, which remains to be seen, we'll figure that out today as well, um, then I think that the SBC fodder side of the market is, is probably, you know, a lot of people have been selling this stuff off and that makes you think without lightning rounds and without a lot of this stuff, the supply is, is going to be pretty low. There was actually a lot of selling on SBC fodder. And as I, as you take a look at some of these SBCs, Griezmann, who's actually bounced back up a bit, he was 330,000 coins to complete. As I think people yesterday saw uh, the leaks for the content and they went out and they sold a bunch of cards. Now, since that selling stopped and since the, maybe a little bit of supply from marquee matchup stopped as well, you still have icon SBCs that are out, right? And you still have a Griezmann. You still have multiple player SBCs that a lot of people are doing right now. So you've seen that fodder go back up in price. It's, excuse me, especially if there's not going to be much to do in terms of the, all the content being silver related. People are just going to go out and do SBCs, right? So keep an eye on the SBC fodder side of the market. If we were to have some sort of pack today, um, that would be an interesting part of the market to see. If there's panic selling on this, but there's no lightning rounds and no supply, you might see a similar dip like this, right? You might see a similar dip like yesterday, this morning. If people are worried about this stuff coming uh, and worried about, you know, whatever content that might be coming, people like to panic sell for anything right people were talking about panic selling kdb's signature signings card for this silver version with which now as you see the stats you're like no way am i going to panic sell that card but just watch out for panic selling today because honestly i think people are going to be underwhelmed with the content and it's going to seem like a no content friday which we have not had in a long time but that's going to make people go back out in the market buy cards and it's going to create a lot of opportunities for trading on this Friday. Again, the last thing I'll say is too, if they're going to do any sort of SBC content that is not a part of the Silver Stars promo, there's tons and tons of upgrade packs, tons of, you know, player pick SBCs. We've had the year in review player pick. Uh, we have had the Future Stars reunion, the party bag. They could re-release any of those at any point in time that is like a party bag type SBC. There would just be something little and small to keep people interested. We also have um, some Icon SBC player leaks that might come out at some point this weekend as well. Mid Mateus and Prime Desai are leaked to be coming out um, as a part of the content for some time as a part of this weekend as well. So it's just a very interesting time. And, you know, we're going to have to figure it out today, right? I'm going to be live streaming on Twitch, link down below in the description, and we're just going to see what happens, right? I've invested a lot of coins. I don't expect any big surprises from EA today, but again, it's EA. You never know what they might do and you, you never know what they might have up their sleeve. So I've invested in a lot of these road to the finals, ones that are getting upgrades, ones that I just thought were pretty cheap, like this Gareth Bale, who, by the way, this is, this is a very interesting fact. Out of all of the road to the final cards that were released in the promo team, like all 22 cards, guess who has the most games played out of the whole entire squad? It's this guy. It is Gareth Bale. He has the most games played out of any promo card released in the road to the final promo. If you take a look at Footbin and kind of look at the stats, it's really amazing to see that. And I think it's just because that they gave him such a big upgrade, a position change, even though Madrid aren't expected to go through to the next round, uh, if they would still, I guess, technically they're down 1-0. So if they win, then he would get a double upgrade in this next game. But again, since it's a live Gareth Bale, the stats look really good. And it's just a card that people want to try because of the nature of its uh, Gareth Bale item. And he doesn't have any specials this year. And the stats look good. All those things together, he has the most games played out of any promo card um, 
in the road to the final promo, which is really, really crazy. So we're already looking at some profits. Like I bought Kempembe for 1.08, and I believe he's like 1.16 right now at the moment or something like that, 1.15. So he has started to go up in price. Um, I bought a Telez down at like 215. I bought some Telesos at like 150 flat. He's up like 10, 15K. The Bales that we bought, the Kai Havertz. Um, I bought some Ansu Fati's and I actually traded with him yesterday after the Barcelona crew scored their first goal. Uh, Ansu Fati went from 470,000 coins all the way up to 530. Um, and then now since the game has ended and that upgrade is, is now coming soon, I picked up a few more Ansu Fati's uh, around the 470 range and I got a nice one on bid here for 450. So I'm hoping to see this card since he's a youngster, has a lot of hype. Um, he's going to go to an 88 rated. Hoping to see this card maybe get somewhere up into that 520k range again, especially as these cards go out of packs. They're decently rare. Uh, I, I think there's going to be a potential for a rise even further um, as we head into this week if the content really is as quiet as it sounds like it might be. So it's going to be an interesting day today. A lot of people are invested like myself. We'll see what happens. We're going to roll the dice. We've invested. And uh, it's been a good week of Road to the Final, but the only complaint that I have is not a single Road to the Final player SBC is a massive L, EA Sports. That's a massive L. I don't understand it, but uh, that, that was the promo right there. But the upgrade packs were good. Actually, the 80-plus player picks were really hitting yesterday, uh, so that was kind of nice. Maybe you do a last-second set of those today since the content looks like it might be a bit dry. But I'm interested to see the Silver Stars promo, right? I'll, I'll We'll get involved with it once we learn more about it, and we'll probably talk about it uh, on stream today. Uh, when it drops and once we see it for real um, and get the actual information from EA Sports. So it's going to be an interesting, different promo Friday today. But if you're down for it, make sure to hit thumbs up on this video. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment down below what you think about all this madness and all of these silver cards being talked about and leaked. Again, it's been Nathan Foot Account and I will catch you guys later. Peace.